Hi everyone, it's Michelle. Welcome back. So today I thought I would do for you my 2016 favorites. I'm actually going to combine two tags. Um, one is the, my year-end favorites for 2016 and the items that surprised me tag that Tammy did and tagged me to do. So um, I'm going to kind of combine those because I don't have a lot of items and some of the things that were my favorite are things that surprised me. So I'm going to combine the two and just do my favorites and the things that most surprised me, I will tell you what those are. Uh, I apologize for the lighting. It is very, very stormy outside today, so my natural lighting is not great, but this is the day when I can film, so we're just going to get it done. And uh, most of it, you don't really need to see the colors of specifically anyway. So let's jump in and get started. I'm going to start with a hair care item. I've got a couple of skin care items, and then we're going to jump into makeup. And I'm going to try and go quickly because I don't want this to be a half an hour long. So let's get started. First of all, hair care. This item definitely surprised me, um, and it is the Sebastian Whipped Cream. This is a moussey. It's almost like, it comes out like a mousse, but it is almost, it's a little heavier. It's sort of a cross between a mousse and a cream. And I love the way it holds my hair. My hair doesn't get frizzy when I use this product. It doesn't weigh my hair down. It doesn't feel drying on the hair, actually. My hair feels very soft when I use this product, which really, really surprised me. I typically do not like anything that's sort of moussey. So when I tried this this year, I fell in love with it. I have gone through many cans of this already this year. Highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. Okay, skincare. I have a couple of skincare items that I just adore. The first one is, I've talked about both of these before, the C Firma Day Serum from Drunk Elephant. This is my by far my favorite daytime vitamin C serum. So if you're looking for a good vitamin C serum, I definitely recommend this. This also has, it has 15% L-ascorbic acid in it, has a pumpkin ferment extract and things to hydrate the skin and that kind of thing and that's why I like it because I use it in the morning as my serum and it also helps plump the skin highly highly recommend I love the packaging it is protected from the light it is protected from air love it my other favorite skincare item that I'm going to talk about is the good genes treatment so this is a an exfoliating brightening treatment made by Sunday Riley it helps fight hyperpigmentation helps smooth the skin um, it's supposed to give instant radiance I really enjoy using this at night it has helped smooth my skin I do think it's helped lighten slightly um, the pigmentation I have on my neck I definitely see a difference and this is the item that I've been using I've gone through a couple of these this year as well love Okay, so now we're going to get into makeup-y items. One of the items I'm going to talk about is another item that surprised me, and it is the um, Artiste brushes. So I use the 7 brush to apply my foundation, and everybody talked about how great these brushes were, and I thought, mm, okay, okay, I have to try it because I'm a brush junkie, but I didn't think I would be all about it. And I really do love the way a brush like this applies my foundation. It just smooths it over the skin. I think your skin looks beautiful. It um, it helps you know it helps the foundation look smoother on the skin. It doesn't absorb much product when you put it on. You would think it would, but it doesn't really penetrate um, because it's such a dense brush. They're so so soft. There are dupes for this. I haven't tried any of the dupes. I bought the seven. And I do think it is worth the investment, and I love them. For those of you who have a hard time cleaning them, I will say that I did purchase the, um, I recently purchased the cleaner that they make for this. And you, it's it's like a moussey texture. You pump it out on a towel and you clean the brush, you know, just by rubbing it on the towel with that cleanser. You don't use water. It does clean the brushes really, really nicely. So if you're having a hard time getting your brush clean, you might want to invest in the cleanser. It's not, um, it's like $25, but you just use a pump to clean it. Um, and I clean mine every couple days, so it's going to last me quite a while, and it really does a, a nice job. So this brush surprised me. And I also did get um, the big one. This was a gift to me from a lovely friend. Um, and I do love it. I love it. But I think that the 7 is perfect for foundation um, so that's the one I would recommend the most that I love the most and 
it did really surprise me. Okay, my favorite, favorite primer, and I've tested so many, but I keep coming back to this one, um, is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. This is the smoothing primer. This does a, an amazing job of hiding pores and smoothing fine lines. Um, I keep coming back to this. I keep trying other ones to see if there's a better one, but for, for smoothing my pores, I do think this is the best. Um, I will link everything below if I'm going too quickly. This is a, a silicone based product, but it, it doesn't seem to ball up on the skin. I only use it in my T-zone. I just love it. I love it. It comes in two sizes. You don't get a better deal for buying the bigger one, which is why I keep buying the little ones because it lasts me so long because I only use it in my T-zone. And, and when you use a product like this, you don't want to overuse it because then you're going to get your foundation could pill depending on, you know, if it's silicone based or water based, that kind of thing. But I don't have a lot of problems with my foundations pilling with this one at all. Highly recommend. Um, one of my next favorites is another thing that's another product that surprised me. And this is the, it's a foundation actually, and it is the L'Oreal 24 Hour Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. Um, a lot of people talked about how great this product is, and so I figured I would try it. Um, Radiant Finish Normal to Dry Skin Hydrating Foundation. I really, really like this foundation. That shocks me because I have I had yet to find a drugstore foundation that I liked. Um, I like this one a lot. It wears, um, I don't know if it's 24-hour foundation, but it wears all day for me. I can get a good long day out of it. Um, and I like this foundation so much. This this tube, I don't know if you can hear, but it's almost empty and I've already bought another one. So this would, that will be my third tube that I have used of this foundation. And I haven't bought a foundation because I have been using the IT CC Plus and I just love the way that looked on my skin, but I just love the way this works. It's a lighter weight than that IT foundation is. Um, there's no treatment in it. The IT foundation I think has some treatment in it, but for the price point and the wear and how pretty my skin looks, I am wearing this today. I love it. Can't say enough good things about it. Very surprising to me. Okay. Um, where do I want to go next? I'm going to talk about a, I'm going to talk about it with that. Why not? Um, I also, um, this also surprised me. It is the Beauty Junkies makeup sponges. So I tried these earlier this year and fell in love with them. I was looking for, I love the shape of this one with this, um, you know, cut edge on it. I tried the real techniques. They don't have the right texture. So um, I saw a couple people talking about this, these, and so I ordered them, and they are really, really nice. You can buy them by the bag full. Um, I think you get six in a bag. I don't think it says on here. I think it was six in a bag for uh, some cheap, you know, I don't know, 15 or $20 for a, a whole pack of them instead of one for the Beauty Blender. I do love how these work. I haven't bought a Beauty Blender since I started using these, so love love them and I tried a lot of sponges to dupe the beauty blender this is not the exact same texture as a beauty blender not even when it's wet but it works really really well and for the price I'm, I love them and they I will say this they do not hold up as long as a beauty blender will but you know they hold up a couple months like I can get two months use out of one which is fine for me at that price Okay, what else? So, um, I talked about this this year as well. For finishing in my T-zone, I like a little extra coverage, something to help me, you know, make the pores disappear and that kind of thing. And I saw Wayne Goss talking about this year, this this year, and, you know, and I owned it, but I didn't like how it, I, it worked for me. But, you know, I saw his method for application, and I went and tried it. And this is the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten in Fair. This is a really nice product. I have continued to use this. This is the second one I've gone through this year. I'm almost done with this one as well. Like I said, I don't use this as a foundation just to finish in my T-zone. And I apply it with, a lot of people have asked how I apply it. I apply it with a small brush like this. This is the Makeup Forever 140, which is synthetic. I just, you know, pick up some product and then I just buff it all over. It smooths the skin, fills in the pores, gives a little extra coverage, which is nice. Um, love the combination of these two. That surprised me because I owned it and hadn't, you know, I bought it and it was like, this doesn't work for me. And so I never used it. And then when I saw Wayne talking about it, I gave it another try and I love it. Um, I'll talk about another powder as well. I also really, really love the um, 
Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder. This is a favorite for me for setting under my eyes or also just sort of finishing my face. Um, I lightly dust it to finish, you know, finish my my makeup. This is really nice. Um, I have owned this for a very long time. I used up my RMS powder and then I was like, well, I have a couple of these I need to use up. Let's just try to use them up. And I really like it. Um, I really like it. It does a really nice job. It's a nice lightweight translucent powder. It does a nice job of um, setting any concealer that you've applied either under your eyes or anywhere else on your face. Love. Um, let's talk about, I'm going to talk about a Chanel quad and I tried not to include any limited edition items here but I am going to talk about one and this is the Chanel matte eye quad that they came out with earlier this year and the reason I'm talking about it is it, they are going to release it again. It is, I have heard it's going to be a permanent product so I will keep you posted on when that happens but this is the um, Candour A experience that they came out with. I think it was supposed to be for fall but it is a beautiful matte palette. Finally, finally Chanel did a beautiful, beautiful matte palette. This is awesome. If you can get your hands on one, I'm not sure you can find them right now but it's beautiful. I highly recommend it. I use it all the time. The red is a great red. It doesn't give you that, you know, I'm sick or I'm tired look to the eyes. It's beautiful. Keep it, keep an eye out for it. And that surprised me that Chanel came out with a really good quad. Although I will say, lately, the eyeshadow quads that they've come out with, I have really enjoyed. So they're doing a better job. But I wish they would do more. Okay, just a couple last things to talk about. Um, and this I'm not talking so much about the product, but sort of how I've decided to use them. Um, I talked about this in a video uh, fairly recently. Is I decided to use my contour palettes. I don't contour my face, but I have bought you know, a couple contour palettes and I decided to use them, you know, for to use on my eyes so that all of my palettes that don't have a good base color or crease color or brow highlighter, I could use those palettes and just keep my contour palettes handy to do my eyes. And so um, I went through the Kat Von D shade and light palette doing that and um, went to repurchase and they didn't have it. So I repurchased one of the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the light medium contour palette which works just as well. Um, I like this one because I can change out the shades um, like this yellow one. I'm going to swap a friend for one of the really dark colors so I have an extra dark color and I won't really use this yellow one but I love the idea of using your contour palettes you know as for your eyes. I you know I it would take me 10 years to use a contour palette up on myself because I just don't contour on any regular basis. So I'm using them on my eyes and they're working fantastic. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is a couple of lip treatment products. Um, the first one is um, a Vaseline based product. This I love for protecting my lips. So Vaseline we all know you know what Vaseline is but they also make some lip products that have other things in them and my favorite one is the Vaseline cocoa butter so this has obviously you know it looks like Vaseline it has cocoa butter in it um, if you like a Vaseline or petroleum based lip petrolatum based petroleum based lip product um, these are really really nice I like them when I go out to run in the weather to protect my lips I feel like that's what they do. They protect. They don't necessarily help when your lips are chapped, but they will protect your lips from getting chapped when you're out in the elements. I love these. Um, but for putting on like in the evening or in the morning to sort of hydrate my lips and heal them, I love, love the um, Chanel Lip Balm. What is this thing called? It's called the Hydra Beauty Nourishing Lip Care. Love these. Um, this is a nice big pot. This is not a, you know, petrolatum based product. So if you like the La Mer, because it's that petrolatum based, um, this is not what this is. This has all kinds of essential oils and um, nourishing, you know, emollient things. Um, the ingredients aren't listed here. They're listed on the box, so I don't have them in front of me. But And there's not really a scent to this. I love that. I slather this on in the morning and at night. My lips feel wonderful, wonderful. Love this stuff. Um, yes, it is pricey, but it lasts a long time and I think it's great. So, hopefully I didn't ramble on too long. That is it for my favorites and surprising items for 2016. It was a little challenging for me to do this because I didn't buy a ton of stuff in 2016. I didn't, 
you know, like I mentioned in one of my last videos, I didn't even make um, VIB Rouge at Sephora this year because I just, I wasn't as into makeup as I had been in the past. I had been concentrating on skincare, you know, and I just had a lot going on and I just, you know, I wasn't buying a lot of items. I was trying to, you know, scale back my collection and that kind of stuff. But all of the items that I talked about are things that I use almost every single day. So these are sort of standards for me that I um, sort of discovered or fell in love with this year. So that's kind of how I approached this. Um, hopefully you guys found this helpful. Let us know in the comments if you use any of these and love any, or if there's a single standout product for you that you discovered this year that you just fell in love with. That is it for today. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day, and I will talk to you all again soon.